it's easy for us to assume that a guy like Blake would have been brought in, you know, to tab the job right there. But has he approached it as he's got to win the job, earn it, live up to it? Yeah, I mean, like, to me, you're not just competing against the three guys in our room, but you're competing against the other 15 starting quarterbacks in this conference. So, you know, um, and to win games, like his approach has just been, how do I get as good as I can, as fast as I can, so I can go execute and win games for Mississippi State. When this offense is at its best, the quarterback run game is, is a big piece of that. Do you like what Blake brings to you in terms of the running game? I think the quarterback run piece is all um, based off of um, the entirety of the program. Um, you know, we're not going to sit there on first down and ask the quarterback to run quarterback power 15 times. Like that's, we've never done that. Um, and that's not really what Blake is. Um, but Blake using his athleticism in scrambles and then situationally, like, the QB run game will come up, um, and to me, like he he's not afraid to do that. Obviously, he is. Um, he'd tell you he's a rocket. He wants to go fight for his team, so like he'll do whatever we ask him to. But we're gonna try and protect him and put him in the best position as possible, and at the right times ask him to run, but um, also at the right times protect him. And, make sure that he gets to play 12, 13, 14, however many games we can possibly play. I don't even know how many of that is now. But <laughs> <laughs> We had a chance to talk to Blake at Media Days in Dallas, and he was impressive in how he just presented himself with his program. Is that what you've seen in the locker room and on the field as well? Yeah, I mean, he's been the consummate pro. You know, he's worked hard to create relationships in the locker room. Um, obviously, coming in here, there's a lot of new guys, especially on our side of the ball, taking a lot of transfers and true freshmen. Um, but then also connecting with the guys who are already here. Um, but like, you know, he he's not going to be a guy, a rah rah guy, but he connects with guys, which is far more meaningful to me. Um, and then the ability to go lead, like if people trust you, like, and they believe that. You, you're gonna do exactly what you say, then like, they're gonna follow you. And he's done more than what we've asked him to in that respect. You guys were able to recruit, obviously, Blake and, and Michael too, but you know Chris was a guy that came over from a totally different offense, was recruited to, to run the air raid. How does his skill set and him just as himself fit into this offense so far? You know, it's interesting. Like, you say he was recruited to come to the air raid, but like, He's got more. He's got more of a skill set than just an air raid necessarily skill set. Like his ability to extend and um, create plays with his feet is, to me, one of his best traits. Um, he's got an incredible arm to stretch the ball down the field. Um, so, like he he's capable of doing everything we're asking him to do. He's incredibly talented. It's, for him, it's just stacking dates and continuing to get better every single day. And when he does that everything and he's done a great job of that but just continuing to um, put together consistent success and you know trying to make just that everyday plays every day we had Blake on the radio and I gave him a scenario basically where I said I want to take a shot at the end so make the play call for me he went with grenade right did he make the right call absolutely <laughs> throw that thing down the field <laughs> <laughs> yeah now uh you know, I don't want to get into the specifics of concepts, but you know, like since we've been here in, in our past, like you can see like stretching the ball down the field and attacking down the field, like that's that's gonna be a big part of what we are. We wanna stretch people horizontally and vertically and make people defend every blade of glass but every blade of grass on the field and um, you know, he's not shy about wanting to throw the ball down the field, so I'm excited about that. In this offense, when you're running so fast and you're you're running your plays within just a matter of seconds, I mean the quarterback, even whenever you know you're making changes within the play, quarterback has to be basically an extension of you guys. How how does Blake um, do that well? You think and so far what you've seen from him. You know, I always think about it as you have to be an elite processor to be in this offense um, because, like you like you said, you don't get a whole lot of time to look at the defense and make every possible check 
but if you can process, the answers are built into every play. And so to me, that's really where we've, um, we've had a lot of success in quarterback play. We've had really talented guys, but Blake, Chris, Mike, all those guys, the processing ability is how you uh, separate yourself um, and play within a system that asks you to snap the ball about four seconds after the last play is over. So, uh, so that piece is obviously um, critical. And he's done, you know, obviously knowing your job cold is a big piece of that, but also knowing everybody else's job and understanding defensive structure, like all, all those things tied together uh, in how you're able to process and how you're able to go play extremely fast because we can only play as fast as the quarterback can process. How quickly did he transition to this offense? I mean, you know, the, the Big 12 seems to run a little faster sometimes in the SEC. It, you know, just seems that way offensively. But was he able to, to kind of move right in and, and be able to handle that? Yeah, I mean, I think that, um, like any um, quarterback, there's going to be a transition period as far as, uh, you know, just changing systems. What he did at um, Waco was a lot different than – what we do, and there's st there's some similarities as far as play structure, maybe a little bit, but not a ton. Um, and so, um, but for him, and he, the thing that he did is he showed up and he was in the building, he was working at it, and um, driven to make the most of his opportunity here. Um, and so, because of that, his transition has been really smooth because he's worked at understanding and worked at being able to communicate with myself, Coach Levy, all these guys um, about what he needs, what he, like, where he feels like he's lacking. Like, that's just as important as knowing what you're good at is knowing, hey, I need a little bit more help with this. Um, and so he's he's done everything we've asked him to from that perspective. You talk about the speed of processing things. How much help has the new helmet communication stuff been for, for your group and with doing that and just whatever all you guys are doing? Yeah, I mean, I just think it, I mean, defensive coaches, wanted it, but I think it creates an advantage for the offense because you, like, you get to hold the pen last. You get to, I mean, as great as quarterback is at processing, the ability for like us to be able to see something and just give him some little cue and not overloading the guy, obviously, with our communication, but um, the ability to communicate and and just give some little cue as to how what we're seeing, all that does is help those guys. Um, so um, to me, it's just, it continues to um, create communication. And ultimately, if our guys are able to handle that in a positive manner, you're just gonna continue to um, grow and progress.